another Andy B two minute video and um, out on a nice cycle today it's quite nice weather uh, but a friend of mine was talking about meds medication and he was talking about how medication uh, can do all sorts of things personally I'm on three types of medication one keeps my heart from doing anything stupid one keeps my blood thin in case my heart does something stupid and I've got another one that because my heart did go stupid last winter uh, it um, helps in another way so there's these different types of medication that I'm on and they all help me um, to stay healthy until I can get my heart sorted properly. Now, medication can interfere with each other. You have to be really careful. Read the side effects. I'm currently not allowed to take ibuprofen, for example, because it would mess with one of the other medications. And these medications can interfere with one another. Um, and this got me thinking, because I've got two alarms one on my watch, one on my phone, they go off at the same time twice a day, 12 hours apart, to make sure I take the medication. Sometimes, however, if it goes while I'm a little bit um, busy with something, um, especially computer work, when I'm a bit abs absorbed into something, I can easily forget for 10 minutes, or maybe an hour and a half, which isn't good. But it got me wondering, how often do we actually ignore those alarms from God? How often do we have an alarm from God that says, you know, you really shouldn't be doing this? How often do we ignore that? If I miss my meds for an hour and a half, it's not really the end of the world. If I miss it for a day, it could be. Let's not miss those alarms from God. They do matter, they are important. Just a thought.